Okay, here is our next baby bunny. This is, I think we named him Peter. And he is a mess of a fluff ball. Um, he's our next most dirtiest. And Hex is helping me. Just leave him there. And uh, so we're going to give him a spot clean. I've got a nice warm... Um, washcloth and the only reason why I'm spot cleaning these bunnies is because we got so much snow that the roof of the bunny house which is quite large um, got some leaks in it and the floor of the bunny house got wet which means any rogue poop or pee or food that was on the floor also got wet and the bunnies like to run and play all over the bunny house, so they got wet and gross. Now, bunnies usually clean themselves really well, um, but these guys are pretty bad at the moment, So we and we've got about four feet of snow out there. So what I'm going to do is spot clean them and then let them spend the day inside the house um, drying off and finishing their cleaning job and uh, just kind of give them a break from the wet, cold conditions outside. Now they do like the cold. Um, it's about 50 degrees or so in the bunny house. Problem is it's wet, uh, just the floor is. There's lots of dry, warm areas for them to be too, but I just needed to give them a day to, to just kind of take a break from being wet and dirty. And uh, they actually do prefer their bunny house. They really like their bunny house. And it's they, but uh, they are doing usually a pretty good job of cleaning themselves. But as you can see, that hey, should all be white, so and it's not. It's very gross. Um, the long-haired bunnies are obviously worse than our short-haired bunnies. Um, so we're cleaning them first, and then they are going to need the most amount of time to dry. Now I'm not getting their skin wet. I'm trying to avoid getting any of their skin wet. Um, I'm really just trying to get the caked on, dried up, mostly pee off of them because they hop all over each other and, and play together and they've just gotten each other disgusting. And it's very hard for some of these long haired bunnies to clean themselves when they get this bad. But if I can help spot clean them, kind of get their fur cleaned up a little bit, Again, not getting their skin wet and not dunking them in a bathtub because that can cause shock and hypothermia and all sorts of problems. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but um, just spot cleaning their fur, then they can kind of, you know, if I can get them about 75% of the way there, they do a pretty good job of keeping themselves clean. And They'll just be happier and healthier. Also, we've handled these bunnies. They're about almost eight weeks old. And we've handled them since they were about 10 days old. And so they're very used to us. They're very used to being handled. And they're very, as you can see, he's just kind of hanging out, just enjoying his little grooming session here. And, uh, boy, he is just a mess. Um, the other... As you'll see in, in some of our other videos, the other bunnies aren't quite as messy as uh, Jack and Peter. There are definitely our messiest Pumpkin babies. <laughs> They're definitely our messiest bunnies at the moment, partly because they have such long, fuzzy, fine hair, and partly because they're white, and, um, and for whatever reason, they just really got the majority of the of the ick all over them. So we'll just see what we can do to get these guys cleaned up and feeling better, at least about 75% of the way, get everything that's dried and caked on. And then they spend a really, they do a really good job of cleaning themselves after that. And uh, in the last video, we did Peter and he is uh, currently going to town grooming himself. I got him about 75% of the way there. And he's already looking a ton better. Here, I took it. Oops. Some poop. 
-hmm. Yeah, so I'm kind of picking, picking poop and pellets and dried pee and just stuff that just made it really hard for poor Do you know Jack why her, here to get her or Peter. phone is standing up because that purple thing down there. Yeah, so yeah, this is a uh, pretty messy. But once we kind of give them a little leg up, a little bit of help, and give them the day to dry off and clean up, they're going to be much better. Now, I, you know, they're going to want to go back to their bunny house and hang out tonight. I'm going to see what I can do to make the, the roof a little better and shovel out some of the snow and water and stuff that got on the floor in there. Speaking of snow, I'm going to get some snow. And, um, and everything, but uh, they will be probably only be clean for a day or two and I might have to do this again until it sort of warms up outside and they do a better job of cleaning themselves but since it's about 32 degrees outside about 50 degrees in the bunny house which is where they like it it's just easier to do this in here and then um, as it warms up outside in the spring they'll be better at it too but I just can't let them get this dirty and that wet because it could cause your bunnies to get sick. So again, I'm really just using a clean washcloth, even though I know it doesn't look that clean. It's been through the wash, it's clean. And then I'm just spot cleaning the fur, getting all the dried matted junk off of them. And really, you know, I spend a lot of time doing this if you're gonna do this to your bunnies, really just kind of gauge how well they're willing to let you do this and go as fast as you need to go um, to do a good job and also to, to match the bunny's temperament. He's starting to get irritated. He doesn't like his, height, his back end done, so he's starting to get a little not happy, but I'm getting a lot of, I mean, he's, his back end's icky. So I gotta get all that stuff off. This is not typical is for not bunnies to be this messy. They're usually a much cleaner animals. Um, so really you don't wanna clean your bunnies unless you really have a good reason to. And our good reason is that the floor of their bunny house kinda got flooded and all their pee and poo got mixed in with water then they jumped in it because they like to play and then they jumped on each other and then just kind of got to the point where um, cleaning pee. cleaning themselves was going to be uh, a hard choice a hard thing to do so you can see i mean he's just a mess so i'm going to clean his back end um doesn't like they don't like being on their tummies Bunnies definitely don't like being on their tummies, um, but what we'll do is we kind of just, um, oh, you're doing a good job. They kind of just, uh, we'll stand him up and try to do it a little bit. And see, we've got some, some stuff right here I gotta get off. See, he was a little more tolerant at the beginning. He's kind of getting tired of this, so I'm gonna move a little faster here. I know those videos are long, but I don't know how to edit and all that stuff. So just skip ahead, bear with it. I don't know, whatever. Throw it on in the background and just tune in when you feel like it. Okay, okay, okay. Stand up. Jake, that noise. Too noisy, honey. Okay. Where do we live, Mama? Where do we live? Somewhere on Earth. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh, so messy and gross. Now this little guy was came in wet and was hanging out by the air vent trying to fluff himself dry. So when we're done here, I'll put him back by the air vent to finish letting him fluff himself dry this is no fun for him he doesn't like it so I'm not 
I don't want to stress him out too much, but he's getting a little stressed. I did get a lot of stuff off of him, but I'd say he's only about 50% clean. So I'm going to let him go, see how he does on himself, and then if he needs more help later on this afternoon, I might do the just a little bit little more. Guy. Yeah, poor thing. You want the next one? 